Welcome to Smacky's Garage, where today we're going to be building a stereo system for my 1969 Mustang. Currently, I don't have any good options for the stereo system. I don't want to cut into the interior panels or use the original stereo, so it really leaves me with limited options. My Mustang originally came with a single center speaker in the dash, which is not hooked up or installed. For the setup that we're going to be designing here, I'm going to try to have it controlled solely through my cell phone and through Bluetooth. I want to be able to use Pandora. I want to be able to use Spotify. I want to be able to use YouTube to listen to music when I'm going for a ride. The system also has to be amplified since my car is loud as it is and I want to be able to hear the music when I'm playing it. The main reason why I don't want to go through my current stereo is because it's a high value item. You can see them online selling through eBay for a lot of money and I, I want to leave the interior as original as possible. So to do that, it's going to be a self-contained unit that can be removed or installed whenever I'd like. So I spent some time thinking about what I'm going to set up and what I came to is a two channel speaker system that's going to be running off of two six by nines that are going to be in boxes that I'm picking up from Crutchfield. So what I've picked up is two kicker 6x9s, 150 watts RMS each. I have 14 gauge speaker wire that's going to be run off of a Pioneer amplifier. This is an amplifier that I've had in my boat for the past few years. You know, it's taken a little bit of a beating, but it seems to be working well still. So I'm going to be hooking this up to see how everything sounds. It's a 500 watt amplifier. I think it's only about 60 watts RMS per channel, so we'll give that a test out quickly. So I picked up this Bluetooth receiver from Amazon. It was only about 20 bucks, but what it should allow me to do is connect it into my cell phone. So I run a typical iPhone, so it shouldn't be any issue to be able to play any of the music that I want. Everything's gonna run off a Fuse 12 volt connection. I'm gonna have 12 volts coming into the amplifier. It's gonna be fused probably out here in between the battery and the main system. There's also gonna be a 12 uh, fuse on the Bluetooth system and everything's gonna be grounded. I'm gonna to need to run new wires through the car since the way that my car is currently set up now is everything is grounded through the frame and that will, will not work for this, or it's grounded through the unibody and it won't work for this. And there'll be two RCA connectors that connect the Pioneer amplifier for inputs. So let's go ahead and start setting this up and see how everything comes out. All right, from Cutchfield, I got my sound ordinance speaker boxes. These are pre-wired and they already have a connector in the back. So hopefully I can just mount these somehow in the folding back seat where I don't have to really screw into anything. Uh, this one I drilled out already to take a look to fit the speaker. Um, they don't come drilled here so you have to line everything up and then pull it together and then screw the speaker in. Uh, the wiring simple, it comes with wires already connected. Speakers themselves came with wiring wires too. So my plan is to take the kicker speakers, trim these back, use the speaker wires that came with those, and then connect it. All right, so let's start building this. So this here is our Bluetooth receiver. The goal of this is going to be to connect directly to my phone so I don't need to connect into the old classic car stereo. Uh, the old car stereo does work. It does work well, but it does not sound great. So to have something that I want modular, that I can connect to the phone, not have to splice into the old car radio, this is what I'm going to use. 
for now, I'm just gonna stick it to this. Now let's take a listen to see how it sounds. Thanks for tuning in to Smacky's Garage. The system's all set. Amplifier speakers are good. So the plan is to install this in the car next time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you get notified next time that I upload that video. And thanks for joining today on Smacky's Garage.